my dear family, nice to have you on board. Big wave to you. We finally have a release date for Aeon Classic. It finally happens. In around two weeks, Aeon Classic gets released. By this chance, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and follow me on Twitch to not miss any content. The long awaited date is the 12th of April, 2023. But for which one of us is it worth it to play? That's what we try here to explain. When you was a WoW player and got influenced by a game called Aeon 10 or over 10 years ago, and you got hyped by this game enormously, and now you should get the same feelings as it was? This is just awesome. Not only WoW players were addicted to Aeon Classic, even players in Aeon who still play the game in retail and want back the original feeling, they have the problem that the retail servers are in low population and North America, classic North America, is called that. But that has a reason. Aeon Classic EU starts with version 1.9 you're gonna be able to absorb content until level 50. You can fly in the open world, strike old dungeons, which I haven't played too. You're gonna discover what is called rifts and you will see the main feature, the Avis, which is a big battlefield for all the angels. And this main feature is hard restricted in the retail servers or retail version. And they have added technical comfort features and a balance patch, which lays on the Korean version. Probably this is the reason why it starts with version 1.9 and not with version 1.0, where some classes could be overpowered. In, in the Korea version, or in Korea, Aeon got alive again. More and more people play it. And Classic EU takes the Korean version as an idol. The game gonna have in-game uh, Korean voices, so this could be a problem for you too. But the big clue is that Aeon Classic gets developed completely new in Korea. They have added a new class and a new dungeon, which weren't in the original game. It's confirmed that this is gonna be in the EU version as well. This is amazing and that's the reason why I call Aeon Classic actually Aeon 2. It takes out the retail stuff, what most of the people don't like, and begin there where the people have loved the game. Gonna be Aeon Classic Pay to Win. Generally, Aeon is a free to play game and has a Seals Aura or Seals Energy optional subscription. 10 euro for 30 days. You need this to trade with each other, level faster, and have access to all items in the game. And they're gonna be a Battle Pass 2. Battle Pass, Battle Pass. In the America and in the Korean version, there were problems at a release where pay to win got embraced. Not wanted, but uh, you, you were able to buy an item for real money and could sell, uh, sell that for an in-game currency. Gameforge can avoid this right now. Aeon Classic is dedicated to the original players. Retail only players won't understand what they actually mean instantly. Aeon Classic is interesting for people who have fun on PvP, big battles on structures in the Abyss, and plenty skirmishes in the open world awaits you. For people who don't like PvP, they can be curious for hard and varied dungeons. Plus an action-based battle system which is old but gold. And keep in mind that the graphic isn't the best in 2023, so it has to get accepted by yourself. Even the pay to play restriction could be seen as critical. You will get two hours of seals aura each day. For casual players, that could be enough. So what do you say to AN Classic EU? Do you ignore it and wait to another highlight? Or is it for you, like for me, you get a second chance to discover the world completely? Because 10 years ago, I went back to kill the Lich King. Thanks for visiting and be ready for next one. See you later. Big wave to ya. Bye bye.